T. Clark here, and this video is going to go over the sample FRQ for Unit 9. So in this uh, FRQ, the following game class is used to represent games and return information about each game. So each game object has attributes for the game title and the company producing the game. So let's look at it. We have public class game. We have the title, which is a string, and the company, which is also a string. We have a full constructor where we have the title and the uh, company being passed in as parameters. And then we set up the title as T and company as C, just like normal. <coughs> Excuse me. Then we have a game info method, which returns a string. And it looks like it's very similar to a, uh, a two string method where we return the title and then we have some a nice sentence and the company. So we have the two instance variable data being returned in a nicely formatted string. Okay, so step A, it says the video game class is a subclass of game um, that has one additional attribute, which is a string variable for the system. So a video game has a system like the NES or the PS5 or whatever system we're on that is used to represent what gaming system the game first came out on. So the first came out on. Um, the video game class also contains game info method. So it returns the title, the company, and the system for a video game. So let's look at it. So we have a video game called My Game, which is created as a new video game for Pac-Man as a title. Namco is the company, and Arcade is the system. And then when I print out uh, mygame.gameinfo, it'll print out Pac-Man, produced by first release on Arcade, with some commas thrown in. And if I look very carefully, I can see right away this first part Pac-Man, produced by uh, Namco, is straight from the parent class, title, comma, produced by company. And then everything after that Namco, after that company, should be from the video game. So the first part could have been used for like Monopoly or Clue or whatever, just any board game or like uh, Magic, I guess, a trading card game. But we need to add on from the super class, the um, system. So then it says, complete the video game class. Your implementation should conform to the examples above. Okay, so video game starts out blank. Okay, so then it's always public class uh, video game. And we're extending the parent class, which is game. Oh, just game. What's going on here? Gave myself some room. Okay, so we have the video game extending game. Then we have to have a game info method, what else? Oh, this variable, a string variable named system, okay? So we have private uh, string system. And then I need my constructor. Constructor is always public class name. And I can look at the super if I wanted to. So this is how the constructor works for the super class. Oh, it's over here anyway. And we have the, ti the title and the company, and we need the system. So we need the string system. And then whenever I extend a class, the first thing in my constructor has to be a super parenthesis. So a super call. And what does the super call need? Oh, I don't need to switch tabs. I can look over here. It needs the title and the company. Oh, and if I look over here, I need not just the S, but I need all of them. I need string title, which would be Pac-Man. And then string company which is the Namco and then Arcade. So I have to match my constructor for the subclass is not just the extra variable, it's whatever is given in the example. So my example has Pac-Man, Namco, Arcade, so title, company, system. Title, company, system, and they're all strings in this case. And then now I can use my super call, and the super needs what? My parent class game needs a title and the company, so I just pass along, I say parent class, you take care of the company or the title and the company. So a super class takes care of the title and company because those are private to the game. But either way, you have to have super first, no matter what. Super first, and then I say, okay, what else is the remaining? My system. So system equals C. And you could do this dot system. I always like that. So I have the I differentiate the parent class versus this class, um, the current class, the video game class. So I have a system equal. Oh no, I'll put C there. I need to match my letters. That should be the easiest thing to do, but I failed. Okay, so there's my constructor. And now I need to, go, this is what I was talking about earlier. I need to do that game um, game info. And it's returning a string. So it's going to be public string game info. 
And then technically this is an override, but I don't need to put override. Um, it'll take care, Java will take care of it for me. And then I have to think about it. So I don't have access to title and company. I don't see title and company anyway, anywhere on my um, code for a video game. Uh, my super, the super class takes care of that. And as I talked about earlier with the title and company, this first part of my printout is taken care of by, of, by the uh, game class. So the game class is my parent class, is my super class. So I say super, give me the game info. And this will give me the title produced by company, but it'll be a string. So I'm not done yet. I want to return that concatenated by everything after it. So if I look at what I have here, look at my example, everything after the company. So I need um, the comma first released on in a space. And then I need the last thing. The last thing is the system, which is part of the video game class. So I add on system there, and that should be it. So now A is done. I have the full video game class, which adds the system. It calls the super to take care of the title and the company. It overrides the game info by getting the game info from the parent class and appending on um, everything else that's specific to a video game. In this case, specific to video game is the um, first released on the system. Okay, I'm going to run this and see what I have in my my main and see if I mess up everything. Let's see, let's see. I couldn't run it before because I didn't have any video game. So there we go. So Pac-Man produced by Namco, first released. Uh, oh, I forgot a D. Oh, no. First released. I forgot my, my um, what's that part of speech? Tense. Yeah, I forgot my tense. Okay, so next thing it says for B. Considering the following games, a game titled Monopoly, produced by Hasbro, and then a video game titled Sonic the Hedgehog, produced by Sega for the Sega Genesis. The following code segment is intended to represent the two games described as uh, above as objects referenced by a variable game one and game two, respectively, and add them to the array list, my library. Okay, so I have this code right here. I'm going to um, uncomment this now, um, because if I didn't have an uncomment, it'll crash. It should crash. Let's see what happens. Hmm, can I print out array list? Okay, so let's see what I have. Um, cannot find game one, cannot find game. Okay, so I have to add game one and add game two. So it says, so write a code segment that can be used to replace the missing code so that game one and game two will be correctly declared and initialized. Okay, declared and initialized. So in this case, there's two different things because the declaration, they both have to be games. They both have to be able to fit into this array list of games so I need to say game, game one, and game, game two. And then I know that the first one is it's just a normal game. So game one equals new, game is Monopoly, and the company is Hasbro. So you can always have the same type on the left and the right. That's what we've been doing forever. Game, game. Um, and then I want to make game two. Game two is that Sonic the Hedgehog is a new video game. So when you're doing two different, um, uh, like extending a superclass subclass, the superclass goes on the left and the subclass goes on the right. You cannot do this. You cannot have video game on the left and game on the right. Because game, remember game, we need what? We need three things for a video We need a Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, this is kind of long. And then we need the company. So this is fine right now. But if I have a new game and I try to give it a, um, whatchamacallit, uh, system, Sega Genesis, that wouldn't work. But even if I did have the same constructor or default constructor or something, having the subclass on the left is no good. The parent class, the super class goes on the left and the subclass, the child class goes on the right. Video game. And then if I run it, let's see what I get.
Okay, so I don't have any errors. So I think that works. So it works out fine. So that's good to have no errors. So I'm going to put it back. I'm going to say, what happens if we do have video game? Uh, video. Video. I know how to type. I, I know how to type most of the time. Okay, so I run it. See what happens if I have that error. What does it say? It says, constructor game cannot be applied. So I can't even do it. Um, so let's see if I have, if I try to just have the company and the title without the system. Let's see what error that is. I have the subclass on the left. Oh, it says incompatible types. Game cannot be converted to a video game. So game cannot be converted to the video game. That's the error we see. Um, but a video game can be converted to a game. So a video game is a game because it is a subclass. Let me put everything back the way it was. What was it? Uh, Second Genesis. And then if I, let's see what happens if I loop through it. Let's see. So for um, every game G in the my library. I'm just testing this out. Let's see if I... Um, Let's try printing out the game info. Let's see what I get if I print out the game info for every game in this um, my library list. Okay, I get Monopoly, produced by Hasbro, and then Sonic the Hedgehog, produced by Sega, first released on Sega Genesis. Okay, so it looks like that um, it's calling whatever is the subclass override. So it looks like it works out. So this is actually, this is all you have to write for part two. Um, game, game one equals new game, whatever. Game, game two equals new video game, whatever. And again, the subclass on the right, the superclass on the left. Okay, so that's B. I'm going to comment all this out so I can get to part C. Oh, I need game one and game two still. So I'm going to keep game one and game two. Okay, so C says the game listing class is used to generate descriptive listing for a game. The game listing con constructor takes a game object and a double. So we have two things in the constructor, value, um, a double value as parameters, and uses them to return the information about the game along with its price. Okay, so it looks like the double is the price. We're adding on the price. We can assume that the objects referenced by game one and game two are created as specified in part B. So that's why I uncommented right here. So part B is still good. Um, the following table demonstrates the intended behavior of the game listing class using objects referenced by game one and game two. Okay, so we have a new game listing, listing one, and we want to print out the description. And again, this looks like it'll be like a two string, but it's uh, called dot description. So that's what we're making. And it'll print out Monopoly produced by Hasbro. So that looks very familiar. It looks like the same game info as we had before. So title produced by company. So that's that game info. Then we add on that 19, the price, the 1999. Same thing for listing two, we have that game info um, that we just saw when I printed out all of them in a for loop, and then it prints out that comma and then the price. Oh, this should probably have a dollar sign on here. I fail. So a dollar sign should be part of this, yes. So hopefully you didn't mess up when you're trying on your own. Okay, then it says, complete the game listing class below. Your implementation should conform to the examples. Assume that class video game works as intended. So video game works as intended. Um, so that game info uh, call still works as normal. So that's what we want to use. Okay, so game list is nothing. So game list class is just a normal class. Public, what, why am I not typing? Public class game listing. And again, we're not a uh, subclass. We're not doing a subclass or superclass game listing. Game listing is separate because it has, instead, it has a game object. And it should be private. These always are private up top. Game uh, G, I'll just say game G, and then private double price. Okay, then the constructor, if I have a new game listing, takes a game and a double, a uh, game and a double. So public game listing, what do we got here? Game G and double P. 
Okay, now I need to have this dot g equals g, and then this dot price equals p. So here we go. I'm just passing along the variables. G, the game up here is going to be whatever G is. And then price is P. I could have called this game, but whatever. Um, G is fine. And then, and on the, on the actual AP exam, you can name your variables whatever they are. The only thing that matters is that it's the same type. The same type. It's nice to have either G or game. That way the readers can follow along. But the type is what matters. So it has to be game and double. Um, and then I need to have what? Description. Okay, so description looks like it's, it's very similar to a two string. So it's public string. Description. Uh, description. And there's nothing in the parentheses, nothing in the parentheses here, no parameters. So no parameters here. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I need to return the string. It's going to be a, I'm going to format it on the fly. It's going to be the first part is that call to call to game info. So I have my G variable, G dot game info. And it doesn't matter if it's a game or a video game. Like I, like I showed you in the main, when it was just uh, G dot uh, game info here, it printed out the full one. It printed out the normal game one. And it printed out the video game one because the video game one basically overrides the uh, parent class one. Okay, and then I need what? I need the dollar sign. That's what I didn't have in my example, but now I do. So I have to put the comma, dollar sign, and then plus price from up top. Okay, I can't put P right here because P is just the parameter. Um, you could have done this dot price if you wanted to, this dot price and this dot game info but as long as you have it set up correctly it, you shouldn't need to okay that's 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 it let me see if it runs does my main even have it uncommented yes it did let's see what i get okay monopoly produced by hasbro 1999 and then monopoly produced by hasbro 1999 what's going on there l2 oh i forgot to switch this in my main to game two let's see what happens when i get the actual game going sonic the hedgehog 39.99 Sonic the Hedgehog, all of it, 39.99. Okay, so there we go. It looks like that one works. Um, have a good day.